today we are going to be doing a 30 minute cardio kickboxing express class. So in this class, what you're gonna see is both cardio movements that are kickboxing based, and I'm also gonna work in some strength movements. What you're gonna need, nice clear space so you can move, good pair of sneakers, double tie those laces so you don't need to pause at all during this workout, a pair or two of hand weights if you have, if you don't have them, that's okay, grab some water bottles, some soup cans, just something to give you some resistance, especially when we do some upper body work and water and a towel. Always try to make sure to stay hydrated, take breaks whenever you need them. I will have breaks built in, and then a sweat towel if you need to wipe any sweat off just so it's not getting in your eye. This entire workout is going to be upright so you don't have any floor work today. 60 seconds on of a movement, 30 seconds of active recovery. 12 movements total. We're gonna start with a warm up. So I'm gonna put some music on. We're gonna get moving. So to start, we've got a step touch right and left. I'm gonna kind of move my little uh, playlist here a little closer, <laughs> just so I can see everything I put together because I can't remember it today. So we're just getting warm side to side. If you want to add some arms for chest and back along with those legs. Now you can always match me if you want to or match the music or do what feels good. Rotations, arms up, we're gonna lift our heels, right and left. Turning side to side, warm up through those legs, back, hips, and fours. I always like to throw rotations in in a kickboxing class so that you can feel where your power is gonna be coming from later. It doesn't come from the arms when you punch, it comes from and through your body. Up. I have this handy timer to keep us on track so we don't stay in anything too long, but just long enough. Knees up, pulling those hands down toward them, warming up shoulders, front of the body, flexors, all that good stuff. Take it back. Flex your feet. You want a little different arm movement. Bring your arms up and down. Warm up through the back. Along with those hamstrings. Feeling good already. And keep breathing. Never hold your breath during the workout. Be that oxygen going to your muscles, your lungs, and your heart. Toes forward, feet about the shoulder width apart. Chest up, we're gonna squat and rise your own pace. Inhale down, exhale up. Weight in the heels, chest up. Think your ribs are on top of your hips. Nice tight center. Push and through. All right, crescent knees, opening up hip to hip, so knee over and across. Guard is going to try to stay up by outside your cheeks, outside your jaw. This is going to be your authentic hand position going to our kickboxing, Right? Okay? Always want to protect this. Money maker right there. Jumping jacks, you can do low impact with a bent arm. You can get a little more higher intensity with straight arms. Heart rate comes up, because arms go overhead. Or, pull out. Balls of those feet, arms up, legs out. Yes. Two, one. Last one movement. It's a three, two, kick. Three, two, kick. Kick. Three, two, one. Kick. Can you add just opposite arm. Punch it out. Follow that foot. Coming towards me. Give me a fist bump. Put it all together, upper and lower. A little bit of mental. All right, warm up done. That's four minutes out of the way. First movement, bicep. 
set curls. I'm gonna grab my fives here. We're gonna start with strength. Knees a little soft, toes forward. Palms are gonna face each other, shoulders roll back. Curl your arms up and down, your own pace, hammer curl. I'm gonna start you on a hammer, and then I'm gonna switch you about halfway through, okay? Elbows in close. I gaze forward. And you're only bending at that elbow, utilizing the front of that arm, that bicep. So pull it on in. Alright, switch hand positions. Palms forward. Bicep curl standard. Wrists are nice and neutral and straight. And you can go as heavy as you want to these. You don't gotta match me, so a heavier weight will go slower than a lighter weight. That's okay, you get the amount of volume that you can get today. Weights down. We're gonna do a little. One, two, three. One, two, three. Knee. Step behind, step, tap. Step behind, step, tap. It's a great bind, essentially. We keep the heart rate up. It's going to take us into cardio right here. See wide. Protect that jaw. Sink down. Uppercut under the chin. Turn the hip under the chin. Hook. And up your own pace. Right and left. Look at your target. They're right in front of you. They're your height. And you are powering out of your legs through your core to that arm to break their jaw. Now you can go faster if you like. But keep rotating that hip in. And breathe on that ouch. You can change your target to their gut. So it's an uppercut to your opponent's belly button. Under their rib cage and up. Come on. Give me four, three, two, one. March it up. March it back. Wide legs. One, two, three, tap. We're going to go back into weights with squats. So don't be afraid to go heavy. Heavy for me today is my thighs. I'm gonna go grab my weights right here. Grab your weights. Squat position. Hip to shoulder width apart. Toes a little out. Weights up. Shoulders down. Tight core. We're gonna go down slow. And pick it up. Inhale down. Exhale, push through your heels up. Now, I always like to do my squats a little slower. I feel like I can really sink into my hips. Get a nice, healthy range of motion, which for you, maybe it's here, maybe it's knees, or maybe it's below parallel. You get to decide. And if you have a mirror, sometimes it does help. You can kind of look in the side. You want to make sure that your chest isn't leaning over. You want to make sure you're not rounding, but nice and strong. Yes. Weights down. Can we do ham, ham, mini? Ham, ham, mini. Nice wide legs. Little cross, little cross. Yes. We've got cardio coming up next. Keep alternating. Now this is going to play off of this movement right here. They're going to give me knee knee. Kick kick. Knee. Knee. Kick. Kick. Yes. Kick. Kick. Knee. Yes. Now if you want to make it a little more challenging, you can get a little lean back. Into those hips. Punch, punch, just 
just like we did the warm up. Right knee, left knee. How about some high fives? High five. Yes. You got this. You only got 10 more seconds. You can fight through it. 30 seconds, so we gotta keep moving.
Weights down. You're gonna give me two knees. Two knees. We're gonna do a roundhouse on the other side. Just like we did on that right, we're gonna do it left. See this nice low impact option here? If you want to, little pops. Otherwise, stay here. All right, right heel into your coming. Left heel up, guard up, bring the heel into your glute, release the lace toward the opponent, back in, reset, down to the floor, in, out, in, down. So you always want to load that kick by pulling it in, taking it out, in, down. And your height for your best balance. If you start to feel a little wobbly, don't kick as high. You can also, remember, speed it up. If you like that arm out, a little bit of balance there. Maybe you're like, whoo, don't mess with me. Don't mess with you. Come on, where are you kicking? Want those back of those legs working. If you sit all day at a desk, oh, these hamstrings are asking to be worked here, okay? They want it. They do. All right, little chest press. Side step. Arms bent. Side to side. Back to weights. You got rows. Nice strong backs. Four, three, two, one. Grab your weights. Probably medium. If you have a way to do that. Keep grabbing what you got. Feel that hip width apart, toes front. Push your hips back. Knees are bent. Palms face each other. Roll your shoulders back. You're gonna pull elbows in and up toward the ceiling. Exhale, pull in and down. Your row does not have to be ridiculously high. Do not think you have to bring your elbow all the way up. Slouching, that's not good. It's not good. Neck long. Think about squeezing. Shoulder blades can come back there. Bring that weight to about your hip. Belly nice and braced, eye gaze down. You are gonna have such a good posture after this class. Work in these muscles that you slouch. Reverse flies. Palm space. 
Feet about hip shoulder width. Hinge back. Shoulders back. Belly tight. Elbows a little bent. You're going to slide and release. Squeeze your elbows. Or squeeze your shoulder blades. And slow your way down. Work in that upper back. Fighting. Osteoporosis. Fighting. All that gravity. I see the older gravity wants to push us down. We won't let it today. We're going to strengthen our muscles, our bones, our minds, and our hearts together. Think about why you're doing this. You push play for a reason with me. So I want you to picture that goal in mind. Last. Bam. Heel up. Go down. Last movement coming up right here. It's a me. A punching jumping jack. So come back to your center. Have your fist. Punch up. Punch out. Up. Out. Up. Out. Strong legs. Both of those feet. Break the ceiling. Maybe the glass ceiling for my ladies. And then serve those fists to whoever needs to get them today. Come on, nice tight glutes. Maybe kind of alternate between the high and the low impact. You've only got 20 more seconds. No shame, no matter which option you want to take. Your pure form is in your glute. 
get really tight. Woo! Take those legs nice and wide. Knees wide. Push into your right inner thigh. Twist over to the left. Into the center. Same thing, but other side. Push into your left thigh. Twist right. Into the center. Press your chest forward. Crunch yourself up. Right foot behind the left. Bring your arm up. Grab your right wrist if you like. Take it down, other side. Left foot behind right. Grab your wrist if you like. Stretch to the side. Your wrist again. Shake those hands out. Right arm. Until then, I'm out. Go use energy.